What up guys, welcome back. So we have a pretty decent farming opportunity here on Mental, Mental Chain. And that is because they're gonna be doing an R drop for their governance token for their LST, um, which is Cook. There is actually a countdown, you guys can see 82 days. And so that means in around three months, we're gonna be receiving the R drop. I do like it because it is quite simple. You just need to stake some funds, which is the liquid version of ETH on Mental, which is METH. And also, we're going to be using some projects that are also tokenless. So at the same time, we're going to be farming multiple projects. And also, we don't need to go into the hassle of um, just like scroll, minting some badges, taking a crazy amount of transaction, doing this quest, that quest. So quite easy. If you have some funds, you send it to Mental, you stake it, and then you're going to be receiving some powder, which powder is uh, what will be converted for Cook, which is the governance token for their LST project. Good thing is Mento is already huge. It is a really, really large project. So right now I think it is worth around $2.7 billion. So obviously they do have the liquidity to do a good airdrop. Also, I'm not saying it is on the farm, but when it comes to a blockchain, dude, it is quite easy to have a good rank. So for example, I started this with $400 exactly two days ago, and my rank is already 16,000. Now, I'm not saying it is the best rank, but if you put it in comparison to something like Scroll or even Linea, with $400, there is no way you're going to be within the top 16,000 on Linea. So at least I know that my rank is increasing with a little bit of funds. I actually started with $400 first day that it got updated because it does take around 24 hours to update. I was top 21,000. Second day, which is today, I am top 16,000. So probably tomorrow it will continue to increase. So let me show you guys what we can do on the platform. So how to earn, we go here. So we can provide some liquidity using Merchant Mo and multiple projects. I'm gonna mention the ones that I like because they are tokenless, but obviously you guys can choose whatever you prefer and do your own research on them. So I do like Agni because it is tokenless. So at the same time, I'm farming Agni. We have seen some hints that they might um, launch a token in the future. Uh, because if you go to their docs, it has um, tokenomics and it says coming soon, which is something that wasn't available previously. Then we also have Occutrade, which is pretty decent. I do use it on scroll. My only issue is that on Mento, there is not a lot of people using it. So if you're providing liquidity, on Occutrade, you're not really earning fees from it. Um, the day that I did it, they had around three swaps for 24 hours. So obviously you're not really earning some funds, but still, if you want to provide um, liquidity into Occutrade, go for it. I do think it is a pretty decent project and also tokenless. Then, so that is 40 powder per day per ETH. Then we also have providing liquidity for M ETH and W ETH. But obviously you're earning less because that is basically almost the same token that you're providing liquidity. Then we have depositing, which is not liquidity, but just taking some funds. We have Carac, which is 20 powder per day. We also have Init Capital. Both of them are also tokenless. Only thing is, I do think you need more than $500 or probably even more than 1K to receive a good airdrop from Carac or Init Capital. But both of them are pretty decent projects. Then we have some other ones like Lendo, Stargate Finance, but all of these are already, to uh, they already got a token, so I'm not interested in them. Native is also good, but I'm not farming it, not actively. And then we have Aurelius, which I do like because it is tokenless. Mintress, I did like it. I did stake some funds into Tyco, but they had a hack a few days ago. I was able to remove my funds even after the hack, but again, if they had a hack, I just want to be safe, so I'm not going to be adding more funds into it. And then we have Dolomite, which is the one that I'm currently using. And then we have some other ones that already got a token. And last one, it is just holding some METH in your wallet. So quite easy, just like scroll back in the days. You just send some funds, you have it in your wallet, and then you're going to be receiving some funds, um, some points. But obviously, it is way less. Now, if you're playing with a huge amount of money, let's say you're playing with maybe 25k, 30k and then you just want to hold it without doing anything else then dude you're gonna be earning some points and most likely you're gonna be re receiving a pretty decent airdrop without all the hassle of doing anything else 
but let me show you guys the process on how we can earn some points towards this so first step is obviously sending some funds into mental i went with jumper so let's say you have arb eth you choose mental and you choose m e m n t which is their token and also you will need it for gas fees so you add any amount so let's say 0 0.05 or 0 0.04 whatever it is and by the way i did a video earlier i'm um, showing you guys that we can use squid router to send our funds so right here if you choose this one you're gonna be um farming two projects in one so you're gonna be farming jumper and also squid router because it is also tokenless only thing is it takes a crazy amount of time for you to receive your funds 22 minutes once you do that you will receive your funds on mental then you do this you look for a mental and you type m if and then you swap whatever the amount that you might need so that is first step right recap we send our funds into mental and then we swap mnt for m if which is the liquid version of mental once you have that which by the way let me make a pause make sure that first you do join um using the website because if not you're not going to be earning points so make sure you do complete that part i'm going to be adding the link in the description which by the way it is a referral link whenever you can use a referral link from someone so you can help them out uh, maybe it is mine maybe it is from somebody else doesn't really matter as you can see right here i have the one from fip or usually i just look into my discord group to see if anybody got a um, referral link so yeah i'm going to be adding the link you first join connect everything all the process that you guys already know then as I said, jumper, you get M ETH, so you can start the process. So first step, how to earn, is that I'm gonna be depositing some funds into Dolomite so I can borrow against it. So you go here, you connect your wallet, and by the way, Dolomite is tokenless. So if we click here on minerals, you guys can see that I'm earning some points, and I even have some that I can collect which is 79.69 these will be converted into an r drop in the future so whatever comes with it i'm cool with it because my goal is to farm cook the lst governance token from mento but if i can get something else great so we go to balance first step please pay attention so you have your m ETH. you deposit some funds into it so you unlock that is um just approving whatever the amount that you're adding and then you add the total once you deposit it uh, if you want to borrow against it you just go to borrow right here you deposit your your funds so you can use it as a collateral once you do it then you will see this open borrow position click on here you click borrow and then you take the amount that you want to borrow so myself i went with eth which is 13.41% APR. It might sound crazy, but also if we do 13% into 12 months, because we're going to be farming this for three months, that is only 1% per month. So it is not that crazy. So what I did is I borrowed $170, which is less than 50% of my position, so I can kind of stay safe. And what I did next is go to Agni. Again, you guys can choose whatever you like to provide liquidity. I just went with Agni. We go to Agni right here. We go to liquidity. Let me connect my wallet. Uh, here it is, connected. And then you guys can see that I have an open position. So if I click on it, you guys can see how many fees I have been earning. And the ML, the only thing is this actually takes a while to show up. But you guys can see the total right here, which is 99.71. Well, actually, here it is. $187, and I have on claim fees, 50 cents. So if you want to create your liquidity, just click on Add. You choose, obviously, METH. You choose USDT. I went with 25%. And then you create your wrench. What I did is my wrench is actually pretty tight. So for example, that is the price, the bar in the middle, and you guys can just move it and you will see the minimum price and the maximum price. Like having it like that makes no sense. There is no way if is gonna be dropping to 1.6K or going as high as 6.1K, right? Doesn't make sense. 
So you guys can just drop it so you can stay in range and obviously it will continue to work. Now, if it goes outside of range, it doesn't really matter. The only thing is if it goes up um, or down, you're just gonna be either 100% USDT or just 100% METH. But so just so I don't need to be checking it every 24 hours, what I did is around, I think it is around 7% on both, I did. And then I created my position, right? I add the amount right here and then enter and stake. Basically, that's it. So once you do that every 24 hours, you can just come here to the dashboard and you will see the amount of powder increasing. They also have the option to do it on L1, which is Ethereum. It is not necessary. If you want to do it, go ahead and do it. But for me, I don't think it is necessary. So once you do that, you can also check the leaderboard. I'm not going to scroll down because I don't want to show you guys my wallet address. Um, but right here, you guys can see the leaderboard and then if you scroll down you can see your rank right here so as i said with 400 dollars i am already in top 16,000, and so pretty easy then we do have a last step which is optional hopefully you guys cannot hear those kids again screaming dude um how to earn right we go and we click on lock so you guys can stake some m and t on the platform and also you're going to be earning some cook the only thing is we don't know how much it is so we just we are just staking so what i did is I actually tested just to make sure that it is working but i do have a bag on mental half of it is is on binance and around half of it is also on bybit so i do need to remove my funds send it to my wallet and then stake it so if you are okay with staking it also it is kind of safe because you're basically staking it with mental not with a third party provider so let's say just to do a test, I'm going to do 20. You choose your lock-in period, which can be flexible. So you can remove your funds at any time. You can do 50 days, 100 days, 200 days, 300 days. Um, since I'm not planning on selling mine, I'm okay with choosing 100, but do whatever is best for you. We do lock, continue. Let's see if I get that pop-up. Here it is. And then we stake. That's it. Right, and then you can check your lock status. It will show right here. So 41, it is updating, and you guys can see when you can remove your funds and everything else. So yeah, here's the amount. So my first try, one, then 10, then 10, then 20, which is today. So in total, we have stake 41 mental. Again, there is not a, a specific amount, but if you do like the token, if you're planning on holding it for maybe the long a long time, go ahead and stake some. So you can also earn a, a multiplier on whatever the, the powder that you're currently receiving. So yeah, there you go. Quite easy. But again, if you guys want to change the strategy a little bit, go for it because you don't need to stake at first on Dolomite and borrow against it. If you just want to go directly into, into providing liquidity with Agni, that is an option. If you just want to hold your METH, in your wallet that is also an option if you don't want to choose dolomite you guys can go with um, aurelius which is tokenless or if you just want to stake it you can go with Carrack or in it so there is multiple options just choose the project that you like but obviously i'm only showcasing what i'm currently doing i'm never i'm never gonna be um covering what i'm not currently doing so yeah there you go guys i think this is pretty easy to understand but if you have any questions any doubts just let me know. Thank you guys for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.